10 signs your nails give you about underlying health problems. Your fingernails and toenails are made up of dead cells that have become hardened and pushed to the surface of your fingers and your toes. This murky coloured nail material is a protein called keratin, which is very hard and tough and it's there to protect your skin against damage on these appendages. What's very interesting about your nails is that when there's something wrong in your body, the nails often begin to change in shape, colour and texture. This can give us clues as to what is happening inside our bodies. For example, if your nails are very strong and smooth, this is a good indicator that you're healthy and you're getting lots of minerals and vitamins into your diet. Likewise, if there is a consistent pink coloured tone beneath your nails, this means that the cells underneath the nail bed are also very healthy. However, if the nails begin to change in appearance, such as cracking, paleness, thickening, becoming duller or forming ridges, this can indicate that there is an underlying health problem. So what causes changes to your nails? The first common cause is being deficient in certain vitamins and minerals that you aren't getting into your diet. Nail changes could also indicate that you have digestive problems and you aren't absorbing enough protein, iron and other minerals which is weakening blood flow to the nail. Nerve damage can also cause nail problems from physically injuring the nail bed such as biting the nails too hard or wearing tight shoes. You'll also find that high levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, can cause nerve damage which affects how the nails grow. Thyroid problems can also cause changes to the nails and the skin cells around the nails. And another cause is simply not having enough oxygen in your blood due to poor circulation. In this video, we're going to identify 10 common signs that your nails give you about potential underlying health problems in addition to those I just mentioned. Bear in mind this video is not designed to diagnose your health problem and is for educational purposes only. Always consult your doctor if you have any medical concerns. One of the most common signs to watch out for is vertical ridges. It's normal to have small lines that run from the top of the nail to the base. However, if these lines begin to develop into larger, deeper ridges, this is usually caused by a deficiency in vitamin B12 and heme iron from animal-based proteins. This deficiency causes poor oxygen flow to the nail matrix and the nerves surrounding the nail. Vertical ridges can also happen in people who have thyroid problems because this gland helps to control nail growth. Number two is brittle or splitting nails. If your nails are very soft, bendy and thin, or they're brittle and they split very easily, this is commonly associated with a lack of folate, iron, biotin or calcium. Now, this usually happens not because you're not eating enough of these nutrients, but because you aren't absorbing the nutrients from your food because of digestive problems like low stomach acid. Luckily, there are ways to strengthen your nails back to normal and fix this problem, which I'll talk about later in the video as this will apply to most of these nail problems. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. The third sign is clubbed nails. Clubbing at the nails is a term used to describe when your nails gradually become enlarged, thickened and they take on this rounded, bulbous appearance. The fingertips or the tips of your toes will bulge outward as the nail gets wider and as the nail grows it can curve downward over the edge of your finger or your toe. Club nails is usually a sign that there's not enough oxygen in your blood which is causing swelling and problems with the nail matrix. Underlying causes include liver damage, heart problems, lung disease, AIDS or irritable bowel disease. Sign number four to watch out for is the white spot. If you notice that there's a little speck or a spot on your nail, this is commonly caused by a zinc deficiency that you had whilst that part of the nail was being formed. So for example, if it's halfway down your nail, this could have been around three months ago because the nail takes around six months to grow. You see, zinc is very important for building nail proteins. 
Zinc deficiencies are often caused by eating large amounts of sugar, cakes, sweets and junk foods in one sitting, which depletes it. The fifth nail sign is fungus. A very common nail condition is where a fungus or mould infects the nail bed and causes the nail to start thickening up, becoming yellow and eventually it can turn black. Sometimes the nails can break away from the nail bed and fall off in some cases. These fungal infections usually occur when you have a weakened immune system and you're low in nutrients such as zinc, retinol or vitamin D. Fortunately, you can treat fungal nails by applying petroleum jelly that's mixed with baking soda and lavender oil every single morning until the fungus is dead and the nail grows back healthily. This can take up to six months, so please be patient. Another sign of underlying health issues is when your nails are all white, number six. If every single one of your nails becomes whitened all over and loses its pink colour, this can be a serious sign that you have low levels of albumin, a protein in your blood. This could be caused by liver disease, heart problems or low protein absorption because you have a digestive problem such as low stomach acid. This can also happen to people who have taken antibiotic drugs or those who have a genetic mutation in the PLCD1 gene. The seventh sign is blue or purple nails. If the skin underneath your nails begins to change to a blue or purple colour, this tells us that not enough oxygen is reaching your nails from your blood. This usually happens when the arteries and the veins are not circulating blood properly, causing blue, unoxygenated blood to pool underneath your nails. This can be triggered by too much cold, frostbite, high estrogen levels, overuse of power tools or chronic stress, which all damage the nerves in your hands and feet. Vitamin B1, B3 and inositol can be used to restore these nerves and reverse this problem. Number 8 is spooning of the nails. A spooned nail is a situation where your nails start to bend backwards with an indentation that forms a reservoir in the middle, like a small scoop or a spoon. This is usually caused by low levels of heme iron in your blood, a type of anemia, because you aren't eating enough animal protein based heme iron or you're not absorbing it due to low stomach acid or some other type of digestive problem. Number 9 is horizontal ridges. Now, if you start to get horizontal ridges and you notice that your nail is no longer perfectly flat and there are little ledges or grooves forming from left to right, this usually indicates that you are deficient in B vitamins, especially vitamin B7 which is biotin. Biotin is involved with building up the proteins in your nails and promoting cell growth, so without enough of it, the nails become distorted in this fashion. And number 10 is a vertical discoloured line. A single discoloured black or brown line from the top of the nail to the bottom is a situation where there's an overgrowth of a pigment called melanin building up underneath the nail plate. In some cases, this can lead to cancer or melanoma, so it's important to have this checked out by a medical professional. This vertical line is usually caused by a lack of heme iron, vitamin B12, or a situation where there's too much elemental iron building up inside your body called hemochromatosis. Now that you've discovered some of the different signs that your nails give you about your health, let's explore 5 lifestyle tips that you can use to strengthen and fix all of your nail problems. 1. Start consuming at least 2 tablespoons of unfortified nutritional yeast on a daily basis to supply your body with a complex of B vitamins such as thiamine, biotin, niacin, etc. These essential vitamins help your body to build new proteins such as keratin, the material that your nails are made out of. 2. Eat a mixture of shellfish soaked in apple cider vinegar twice per week such as clams, shrimp, mussels, oysters and crab meat. Shellfish are loaded with vitamin B12 and iron, the two key nutrients that support your red blood cells in transporting oxygen and nutrients to your nail bed. 3. Eat high quality grass fed beef, liver, red meats, pasture raised eggs and wild salmon. These important proteins are rich in retinol, 
the active form of vitamin A which supports keratinization and the building of new stronger nail cells. 4. To strengthen your stomach, consume 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water before each meal. This helps your stomach to break down and digest vitamins and minerals that we've talked about in today's video. This is more important the older you get, as we tend to absorb less nutrients with age because of low quality digestive juices. 5. Many of the soils that we grow our food in have been over farmed and are now depleted of trace minerals like zinc, silica, boron and molybdenum. This can weaken our bodies as we need these trace minerals to help us grow proteins like nail tissue, collagen and haemoglobin. So simply start taking 20 drops of liquid trace minerals in a glass of water every single day. Over time these trace minerals will improve the health of your skin, your eyes, nails, immune system and so much more. Alternatively you can just eat sea vegetables to get your minerals like sea kelp, nori, dulcie, Irish moss or kombu because the sea is still rich in these minerals. If you'd like to learn more about the top vitamins and minerals to strengthen your nails, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.